Here we go. Oh, I need, uh, I need to call you real quick. Yeah. Are we live? Tell me when, we, when we're live. Uh, yeah, we're live. Okay. Are you ready? Game one. This, this should be right, I think. Let me double check. Week four. Lost Rex at keyboard. Alright. Here we go. For game one of week four. Uh oh! Oh, but a good save! Jerry Rivera. What a save. Oh, shoot. Uh oh. Alright, get that out there. What a save by Jerry. Just off the curls bar. He's looking like a top goalie. But this is trouble. Oh! One I look like Jerry Rivera. Yeah, I think he had an assist on that one. Okay. He's already having a strong game. This this keyboard the special lobster, defense. The lobster backs are on a two game win streak right now. Looking to keep the momentum going. This is a setup for Leland. Can't quite get it. Another hit by Leland. This is trouble. And it's gonna go out of here. Oh, we're gonna have to stop the play for that one. Oh, oh, they chipped him. Their own defense. This could be trouble. Keyword Smasher defense struggled against the grounder, scoring two own goals. They need to fix their defense here. Almost scoring one this game. Hard shot by Tim. Tim Willover, number so Leland can three, get it. and it's and another own goal. Leland. Leland couldn't get it there. Leland tries so hard. Hard shots by Tim, but it's coming back to Jerry. Cannot get it. These are two of the premier offensive goalies in the league. Yeah, some of the top goalies here could be all starts. It's a hard shot by Jerry, and it's going to be going out. These, are, these games right now are super important for the Keyboard Smashers and most importantly Juan Rivera who's 31 years old and this could be a goal and it's game. The Lobster Backs the killing lobster backs. Shutting their dominance asserting where they belong. If we're going to be going to game two this one Will be between Majestic Turtle Chumps and Grenadiers. At Grenadiers. It's going to be tough for the Grenadiers. The Majestic Turtle Chumps have been absolutely unstoppable so far. 3 and 0. Oh. Coming back from any, uh, any, uh, lead that has been brought against them. Yes, and if we remember correctly, I believe it was last week they played each other. And. The Grenadiers threw a 2 nothing lead, so they cannot right. afford to throw that. Maybe now that it's in Trenton, this might help out the Grenadiers. Here we go, drop ball coming in now for this divisional match. This one's set up. For Travis Cole, who chips it over the bar. All of the offense for the Majestic Turtle Chomps will fl through Donald Barnes. They try to get every single ball to him. They sit back to Wallace. Can't quite connect. Yes, Donald Barnes looking like the top player in the league right now. Most talked about, most trending on Twitter. That's a hard shot by Donald, but a good save oh. by Joseph Young. A that top a goalie. laser. Laser towards the top... Uh, Top crossbar. This is a high pace game as we expected. It's gonna be going back over to the Grenadiers. Everyone's always talking about how the defender number two is the most important defender. He has the uh, range to get it over the uh, green attacker. That yes. yellow is Peter Hill. He had the game winner in last week's game. 
But this could be trouble. Wallace hitting it, and he can't save it. It's a 1-0 game. Grenadiers take the lead. But yes, getting back to that number two. Number two is very important because he's the one that touches the ball first. So if he sets up your goalie, that could be dangerous. It's good set up. Joseph Young with the hit. It's going to be coming back down to, to Barnes, who can't quite connect. But Barnes with an immediate shot and a good save. That was... Wow. What a fast pace. Donald play. Barnes loves those high floating balls where he can get them. Barnes and Young both with some amazing plays. Both young players, too. And speaking of youth... Oh, I know that was last game. Never mind. Juan Rivera will be retiring next after the season, but this could be trouble. Barnes with the hit, and it's just going to go out of bounds. He got lucky. Oh, shoot. Oh, it looks like our platform went down below to our production room. So if Young is actually be one dangerous. of the oldest goalies. So. Oh, Oh, that's right, he is. The Grenadiers need to win while he's young. And it's a chip over, and it's going to be going out of bounds. high pace divisional. This is Wallace with a good shot. This could be trouble. Off the bar. Coming back down to the Grenadiers defense, who hit by number five. Goalies and attackers have been standing out so far this tournament, or this season. And that's a good save. This is going to be hitting the roof. I believe that was Samuel. Joseph Young is the most expensive player in this game. And that's an own goal again! Can the Grenadiers finish this game though? The last time they could not. Now, they need to finish this. It's a hit. Donald Barnes can't quite get the shot. Looks like they're trying to set up Joseph Young. One of their best players this is going to be coming to Barnes. Barnes with a hit. This has top spin on it. Coming back down to Billy Long. Billy Long with the hit. Trying to get it up to Travis Cole who gets a touch. Can't connect. And Travis Cole with the shot. Just over the bar. Coming back to Travis Cole. Travis Cole with another shot to Wallace. Over to Peter. Joseph Young with another great save. The Turtle Chumps never give up. They know they have a chance no matter what the circumstances are. This could be trouble. This is going to hit the top of the goal and go over. Two to one still. Grenadier is taking the lead, still keeping this lead, and that's gonna be going over as well. Travis Cole with the chip going to the defense. This could be trouble. Coming back down. This could be going to Donald Barnes who gets a nice hit right over the shoulder. Those are it's tough. High. To hit. It is floating. Skyball coming down to Billy Long with a hit from Joseph Young. It's going to be going out of bounds. Peter Hill, he's, uh, he's in charge of this Travis game. Cole, can he finish this game here? This is coming down now. Fast, and it's the it game. Is. It is. Three Travis to Cole. one. 3-1 to one to the upset coming out from the Grenadiers. I knew that they, they had potential, and, and they definitely showed it there. Not only is it important for the Grenadiers, but that's very important for Travis Cole because he is on his one-year contract, and that is crucial for an attacker to stand out the year before his contract expires. That is true, and he hasn't been playing to his full potential, but that game, he had a great game. And, yes, yeah, scouts are going to be keeping an eye on him. He could be a top free agent. And here we go for the last game of week four between Metro Madness and the Grounders in Metro, Mes Metro uh, Madness's Saint, Palace. St. Saint Paul. Saint Saint Paul. Paul, Minneapolis. Here we go. Drop ball here. Grenadiers get that one. It's going to be hit around here. Trying to set up. They can't. Keith Jackson currently tied. Number two with Tim Willivert in goals. This is coming up. That's a great hit by Carter Colson. It's going to go. It's going to slow down in the roof. 
Uh-oh, this, this might be dangerous. This is coming back down to the goalie. Connor goes with a shot, but no, it's going to hit Darren Stanley with another shot. It has backspin on it. This Keith could be Jackson dangerous. Jackson might get a goal here. It's the top. It's oh. coming back down. Darren Stanley now with the shot. Hard hit to the, to the Metro's defense. This is going to be dangerous. Frank Hill with a shot. It's going to be coming back down. Back to Frank Hill. Frank Hill with another hit. Another hit. Off the crossbar. This hit the backspin, and end. that's a goal. Wow. The grounders score their first goal. This is the first time they ever had a lead like this. Back Frank to Hill. Frank Hill. Frank, Frank Hill, Hill with another goal. First goal. Frank Hill scored his first goal against Metro Madness week two. Now he has two goals, it seems. Metro Madness really needs to pick it up here. This is a divisional matchup. But this could be trouble. That's headed by number four. They need to set up their star player, the goalie, and this could be trouble. But a good save. Carter Colson. Just outstretching the fingertips. Barely a trouble. To save. Carter Colson definitely looking like the franchise player on this team. And Keith Jackson, actually. Both of them are having phenomenal seasons. That's going to be started back up by Joe Bryant. They're going to hit it. There's Frank Hill. This could be trouble. It's going to be coming back down to Darren Stanley. Darren Stanley doesn't quite get the hit, but he's got a hit here. It's going to go right into Keith Jackson coming oh, back Carter up. This Coulson. is set up for Carter Colson. This is territory. Carter Colson does it yet again. What a shot. That's his second laser in, uh, in a couple days. I don't believe this. Carter Colson had one of the best goals we've seen, and he does it yet again. Carter Colson, just unreal player. Wow. We always talk about how Leland Manning might be the best offensive goalie, but Carter Colson's starting to make a name for He's himself making as the a name. Go on. Two of the best goals, laser goals. He he might be the strongest player in this league. He, he when he shoots, he shoots with force. It's just uh oh. This is gonna be a tough one. It's gonna Keith be a tough Jackson. one for Carter Colson. Just gonna go over and the it bar. Looks like it's going over. The ball is over. Starting back up by Joe Bryant. You gotta watch out for Josh Uplito, defender number four. Very important. This could be trouble. Defense. And Ke or, uh, Frank Hill scoring an own goal. Metro Madness ties the game up. This could be trouble. Oh, Darren Stanley with the save. Okay. This oh, has Jack backspin Stanley. on it. It's it looks like it is going out of bounds. It's gonna be going out of bounds here. Started back up. This is gonna be a tough one. Metro Madness never really felt like they were out of it. No, they never gave up. That's that's what you need out of a team. You can't give up. Oh, but a hard hit. And they can't keep control of the ball. It's going to be turned over to the grounders. Grounders not going to pass it around. The Metro Madness really Patrick isn't hits too it up. young. Metro Madness is too young. However, they all seem to have team-friendly contracts. What a save again. Wow, Carter Colson. Oh my, Carter Colson is looking like an MVP this game. I don't believe this. Carter Colson, what a game. If they win, it is all due to Colson. That and as we it. say that, hits the crossbar. This could be trouble. And oh. it just rolls out. Wow, almost game there. Patrick Wilver now with the hit. Oh, that's Keith Jackson. It's going to be coming back up to Keith. He cannot hit it backwards, and he doesn't. Well done. That's a smart move. When in doubt, just give it back to their team's defense. Yes, make them deal with day. it. It's going to be turned over to Metro here. They need to get this one over. They cannot set up Keith Hill. And turned over. Sometimes it is the smarter play just to turn it over and not pass it right up to the attacker. Another turnover. They're gonna, and both teams are playing it smart here. They don't want to make the mistake. They want to make their opponent make the mistakes. But it's going to be going to Frank Hill. Frank Hill with another shot that's coming back over. It's going to be going over. To the grounders, and it's hit back up. This Carter, Carter Colson. Colson, a shot, oh, just, just over a the bar. High, just a little high. Now, if Carter Colson made that, we just have to give him the MVP award right now. That's just—he has made so many long an shots unreal, so far. An unreal performance so far. Josh, you believe that ball stop on his head? It's coming over to Keith Jackson. Don't hit it back, Keith. Any smart play, not hitting it too hard. Frank Kill, and it's gonna be turned back over. Neither team wants to mess up here. This is a prime time game, and it deserves so much attention. Divisional match. This is a, this means a lot. 
Because these uh -oh. two teams do not play each other. This is going straight up to Carter Colson territory. Carter Colson with a shot. It's coming That's back over as backspin. It should be going out. And it's going out of bounds. Too much spin on that ball. Can't use those. And it's going to be Metro now trying to control this ball. These two teams just played each other two weeks ago. Hard shot by Frank Hill. Another Frank Hill. Frank Hill with a chip back to his defense. Keith Jackson can't connect on Keith Jackson with a hit. This could be trouble. Going back to the grounder's defense. Hits number three. A header by number three. And Carter Colson gets the chip, but he can't quite connect. Hit back by Keith Jackson. Metro's defense now passing it around. Trying to control this ball. Keith with the pressure, keeping the ball alive so he doesn't turn it over. The defense hits it backwards and hits off the crossbar. Can this go out? And they get the bounce and it just makes it out. Set up for oh, Carter Colson. That's a good shot with backspin. Hits the crossbar and it's going in. I don't believe this. I don't believe this. Oh my I don't believe God. this. I don't believe this. Carter MVP Coulson. performance from Carter Coulson. He is by far the leader of this team. Carter Coulson. After that game alone, Carter Coulson. I... What? Carter Coulson. Carter you Coulson are unreal. worth every penny of a $26 million contract for two years. That was amazing. Wow, Carter Coulson. Hold on one second. The players are not exiting the arena. We're going to have Carter Coulson come in. Carter Coulson, number one. He is one of the leaders of this team. And he is proving it every time he steps onto that field. Alright, we have Carter Colson now in the booth. He just came in from an exhausting game. Carter Colson, how do you feel? How, or, wait. Well, yeah, we'll just talk to Carter here. Alright, Carter, how do you feel about that win? It was a great win. Great win. Feel great about it. Uh, just trying to help the team out. Yes, Carter. Carter, you're, you're looking like an MVP out there. Uh, what do you think? What do you have? What are your expectations for this team? Uh, no doubt, I expect to be first team. Uh, I feel great about it. I feel like I'm the best player out there. Uh, there's no one as good as me. Yes, he he had an all-star game. That was actually ridiculous. I don't think we've seen a performance like that so far this year, except maybe Donald. But um, next week, I believe. Who do you have next week? You have oh you start off with another divisional match against keyboard smashers. How do you feel about them? I mean, we'll take it one game at a time, but I feel like we win every single game. Yeah, they're they're struggling big time, so if you guys win this, I don't you might clinch. We yeah. feel good about it every time. We we've beaten the grounders twice, that's all we have to do. We just have to pass the grounders and we feel good about it. Yes. Grounders now I believe are tied with keyboard smashers, so you'll be taking the lead. And if you win next week, I believe, and Grounders lose, you will be clinching first seed for the Coastal Division. How does that feel? We're not just trying to be first place. We're trying to win the whole thing. We're trying to win oh, the championship. <laughs> I like uh, it. I like that, it. That's what we're looking for. We're not, we're not just trying to make the playoffs. We're trying to be a household name. Look out, St. Paul. I like it. I like it. So, uh, any, uh, you have any last shout-outs? Uh, just the whole team, but mostly myself. Mostly myself. All right, Carter. Thanks for stopping by. And that'll be all for this broadcast. We'll be back again on Thursday for week five. See you then.